hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about something regarding the mobile app development so you know we have already released some videos regarding the mobile app development so if i switch to the tab and if i take the corresponding video in the channel here you can see this is the video that we have released and we have shown how to do the authentication how to fetch data from odoo and how to update or create a record inside odoo from a third party that is using the postman so we will use the postman as a middleware which stands between odoo and mobile application so right now i cannot illustrate the things with the mobile app so i'll just use the postman application to illustrate the purpose so we have already shown these things using the postman so if yet you haven't watched this video you can just go through it so in this video the first step was how to do the authentication so to fetch the value from the odoo or to create a new record inside the odoo from the mobile app we have to do the authentication so if we have the proper authentication only we can do the operations so for authentication purpose what we have done is that i'll go to the postman and here you can see this is my ip address so i'm running my odoo version 12 in the port 8012 so if i go to the browser and here you can see this is my odoo version 12 so you can see the url and if i go to settings here you can see this is odoo 12 community edition and i'm running it using the pycharm so i have already opened odoo 12 and odoo version 13 so here you can see this is my odoo 12 so for doing authentication what we have to do is that we have to ip address port number slash web session authenticate then inside the body we have to pass json rpc to in the parameters we have to specify the database name so i have given the database name as dev12 and login is admin and password is on also admin so once we click on the send button we will get a response which contain session id so in this response you can see there is a session id but if you do the same process in odoo 13 you won't get session id in the response so let's see what happens in odoo 13 so using this session id so in the odoo 12 we will get session id as the response for the web session authenticate so using this session id we can do the further process or further communication with the system so here i have already created an, another controller which returns the patient record from the database so for calling this controller inside the header we can pass the session id that we get from the above first step that is from the web session authenticate process we have got this session id so i'll just pass this id along with this request so if i click send button you can see you will get a response so here you can see you will get the patient details like Odoo, dave james matt which are the patients existing inside my database so if i go to the ui and if i go to the hospital module and if i go to the patients menu so i will go to the patients menu and here you can see i'll just remove this female filter here you can see james abcd matt etc matt etc so if you check the postman you can see all those patients here subscribe the channel a do abcd achai klo so if you check the front end where is klo klo is here subscribe the channel is here so you will get all the patient records here so that's all about odu version 12 so in this next tab here i have got odu version 13 so if you check the link you can see it's 8013 which is i'm running on adu 13 so here is my odu version 13 which is running on 8013 so if i go to the browser and in this tab you can see this is odu version 13 so i'll go to the settings and here you can see it's loading so once let's wait so the loading has been completed you can see this is odu 13 community edition so let's see what happens if you do slash web slash authenticate in odoo version 13 so let's see i'll just click on here you can see in the body i have passed database name that is odoo 13 login is given as admin and password is also admin so let's click on send button so i'll just click on it so let's wait so yes we have got the response from the server so json rpc result so if you check the results here you can see there is nothing related with the session id we have odoo bot the try is there but if you scroll up and down you won't see the session id here so but if you check the odoo version 12 so if this is the response that we have got from the odoo version 12 that is here we have got the session id before the uid but in the odoo 12 sorry in the odoo 13 you don't have the session id in the response so i have seen some queries regarding this in the odoo forum etc and some modules for this for adding 
session ID in the response. So actually there is no need to add new module for this purpose. Actually the session ID was there but it's there in some other place. So if you check the cookies, so here you have got cookies. So if you check inside the cookies, here you can see session ID. And from the cookies, you can take the session ID value and continue the further process. So we have planned to make this video as some people has already commented out how to do the same in Odoo version 13 and they are asking once we done the same in Odoo 13 we are not getting the session ID so what should we do like that we have received some comment so we just go through the process and see in the response we are not getting the session ID but actually it has been moved into the cookies for better security implementation so if you didn't get the session ID in Odoo 13 what you have to do is that you have to just go to the cookies and from the cookies you can get the session ID and using the session ID you can just continue the further process so that's all about this video and yet if you haven't watched our first videos like in the mobile app development we have already shown how to do the authentication how to fetch the data from the Odoo how to update the data from the Odoo how to set, log out the from the database like that everything has been shown in the two videos so if you haven't watched those videos you can just go through those videos so that's all about this video if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel to get notified regarding all the updates so that's it thank you